Consider supporting Sonic Guru Productions on Patreon for just a dollar a month. Link below in the description. So, Team Sonic Racing's a thing. <laughs> so, ever since our last discussion, which I don't remember what the fuck we talked about. Yeah, what does it have? I think I think it was just the announcement of Team Sonic Racing. But since the announcement, we have... We have originally, it was just Team Sonic and Team Dark. The, mm. Then Team Rose, which was Amy, Big, and Chow. Which okay. reminds me of the Choo Choo's from All Stars Racing. <laughs> Choo Choo Rocket. Yeah. yeah. Then there was Team Blaze, which is Silver, Blaze, Camel. No, Team Rose had Vector. Or was Vector, it Team? Yes. Oh, and Team Blaze had Big. Well, mm-hmm. I think anywhere around the Vector was Team. I can't fucking remember. The thing is, uh, Vector's, wait, Vector's, we'll Vector's one of the characters. <laughs> All right, we've got Sonic Tails, Knuckles, Shadow, Rouge, Omega, Amy, Vector, the Chows, Blaze, Eggman, a few robots, um, Metal Sonic, and Zavok, of all things. Yeah. Which is interesting. Again, I'm surprised they brought him in. Um, but no, no. St- Sorry. So I was going to, but no. I'm sticks trying, I'm trying still... to bring up the characters. Yeah. But no sticks yet. I mean, I'm still, I'm at, I'm at the tailor end of my string, basically. You know, it's probably not going to happen, maybe DLC, but honestly, at this point, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> oh, they just really want to make Boom just not a thing anymore. They just really do. Yeah. Well, say they, I mean, you lot out there who constantly keep them boning about it. Yeah, I'm petty. What about it? Anyway, um, we were learning a few things about it, especially the team based mechanic where you have speed, technique, and power. Just change fly to technique, why not? We get more we're getting more honestly, every single time I look at it, every new gameplay comes out, it's like it's Nitro Car. <laughs> it's just crushed Nitro Car, except it looks better. I saw game more gameplay that's like, I wanna play it. It looks fun. I like the Sonic Racing games. Yeah. Like, I mean the thing is yeah, it's funny actually. I was just the other day. I was actually in Bradford. I was talking to another Sonic fan, which I generally saying, and he's very much like I just like the two D stuff. I've never been interested in the three D, but he does. In, but he's interested in. The, he does like the races, and he is looking forward to Team Sonic Racing, as it is, which is a good thing. Um, but yeah, I mean the thing, the major thing, of course, is that the game was meant to come out uh, November of last year, but then it's been pushed back to this year of May. Of all things, so it's coming out in May. Good. In May, and so far the question's been of like, okay, what are they going to adding? And so far, all we know about the game is a couple of the tracks, some of the music tracks they're going to put in, and also maybe more characters if there's anything else. Yeah, I was right the first time. Big the cats with Team Rose, Vectors right. with Team Vector. Why does it get Team Vector? Why Team Vector? It should be Team Blaze. <laughs> Blaze for life. Oh dear. But, um, what the fuck were we talking about? <laughs> yeah, we were talking about Team Sonic Racing just being a thing. <laughs> yeah. And with the new characters come out and all that, we also have, um, still no idea what the fuck Dodon Par is. <laughs> yeah, for the adventure mode, basically the single player mode for this game. It's not Eggman. No, sure, it's quiet. It's not like, it's not Eggman. It's not like they do the same thing twice. It's not three riders. <laughs> Yeah. Well, considering that, with the, well, considering that the game is basically, if they're going to go what they've done the last few years, basically make someone else and then have Eggman just take over the last minute. That's nothing new. Yeah. Um, but also during the time, um, the Sonic, um, I cannot talk. Having a newborn really fucks with your mind, you know. Mm. Several times I've been trying to talk, and all of a sudden I'll stop mid sentence. I'm waiting for my brain to reboot. <laughs> It, uh, oh yeah, uh, Sonic Twitter and YouTube channel. There we go, YouTube channel. Those are two I was trying to fucking remember. <laughs> Those things. I've been uploading various tracks of the game. Yeah. Tracks as in music, not tracks as in the actual levels. But again, they give well, them yeah, levels music, anyway. <laughs> music tracks of the tracks you'll be racing in. Yes. And honestly, I've all the tra- like we're getting a seaside hill. Obviously, we're getting a seaside hill. Yeah, is, I mean, we kind of said this before. Ocean View and Will Lagoon. 
Yeah, I mean, we did say this before. You think Green Hill's been overused? I mean, Seaside Hill, oh, bloody hell, that's basically been the new Green Hill for the last decade or two. Yeah, Whale Lagoon is the... Is, is it Ocean View or Whale Lagoon that was in every one? I think, well, if you had a whale in, I think that's the set piece. Yeah, I think, I think that's the one. I think right. Whale Lagoon is the, is the overused one. It's been in yeah. all, all um, three games now. Yeah. But Market Street, with the remix of Rooftop Run, mm. by June Antelopes, <laughs> Frozen Jungle God sounds original to me. I can't pinpoint a freaking one there. Hmm. There's one from Sonic uh, 3. Sorry? I was going to say, would you ever try from Sonic 3 and Knuckles, the uh, Egyptian level one? No, 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 no. I think that may be um, Sandopolis visually, right. but the right. music is Sand Hill. Ah, oh, right. That was like, as soon as I listened to it, like, there's no fucking way you're remixing Sand Hill after all this time. <laughs> it took you 25, da- not 25 years, it took you nearly 98. Well, it took you nearly 20 years to, re- to remaster it. Well, it took, well, let's be fair, they've been basically bringing back the stuff like Buggery and they're at the tailor end of like, you know, what else have we haven't reused already? Well, I guess this one will do. Yeah. We'll get on to the adventure remake another time. Right. <laughs> well, tomorrow if you're watching this. Yeah, depending on what we do with it. Yeah, it has also got Boo's House, which I'm surprised not being sued by freaking Nintendo at this point. Uh, I don't think they care. I mean, <laughs> oh yeah, the Boo one is based on Sandopolis. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. Yeah, there's Ice Mountain, which it just says there's a racetrack based in this. And it seems to be Ice Mountain is the name from the Sonic Advance one, but it's based on Alaska. Right. <laughs> I see a picture of it and it's got a freaking orca and it's like, no, it's meant to be a giant sperm whale. <laughs> Where's my sperm whale? Uh, reusing models, even in the same track. Yeah. I usually get a HD version of King Boom Boo. <laughs> That'd be interesting. Which hasn't been seen since... Uh, well, the what picture they're showing me here is from Sonic Runners. Right. But um, I can't. I don't like having dead air. But right now, it's just this video is very generally an update. It's like here's what's been happening with, with Team Sonic Racing. We finally have a release date. Yeah, we're getting a lot. We're getting a lot more teasers for the game. The gameplay looks superb as always. Because hey, Sumo Digital, <laughs> lads from Chef. We've met the guy. Yeah, we've met one of the guys. Steve, <laughs> is he still? Is he still with Sumo? Yeah, he's still with Sumo. Yeah, yeah um... we've met Steve. Yeah, we met Steve. Um, I do know it's a different team within Sumo. That's the thing. I think it's not the same team from All Stars and Transform, but it is still Sumo as in. Yeah, they, they know racing games. They know how to give a good feel. And looking at the gameplay, the feel of it, just watching gameplay, the feel of the speed, the feel of the need for speed. Yes, go fast. You gotta go fast. Always fast. Yes, Can't indeed. stop me now. Yeah. Um, it looks fun. It looks, it looks incredibly smooth to handle. And you can see the distinct differences between the three types. Mm. Like it says, um, thank you, Sonic Wiki, or Sonic Fandom, whatever. Um, speed is well-balanced handling, fastest top speed, defensive radical burst, and poor acceleration. Why is it poor acceleration? I think Sethoraj is just getting off the line. That's basically it, just the build-up speed. I hate poor acceleration. Yeah, because... Uh, technique you know, uh, technique, uh, technique is nimble handling, high acceleration and steering. Like a good corner on terrain. That seems like the one I want to be playing the most. Mm. Like, yeah, play a Sonic is the fastest. Do that one. But no, you got to have good acceleration to actually catch. I think the previous games, one of the things you have to learn is drifting a lot because drift equals boost and boost equals win. Yeah, that's why. I, that's why I can always beat my wife. I can't eat. <laughs> oh, can't eat. Oh, deluxe, depending. Yeah. And power is good boost and defense can smash through obstacles as you do. Destroy barriers, and it's the slowest top speed. But that that is power type is always situational. Mm. You know, it'd be good though if I'm not too sure whether or not it actually would be included in the game or really fuck up everything. Is if you're playing as all three characters at the same time, like heroes. Well, we do know from the supposed to be the game's CG intro, there is supposedly the there's a bit where supposedly Sonic presses the R in the middle of the wheel. So maybe that's like the super move, as in basically that's like the this game's equivalent of the all-star move. 
No, I'm saying how you just. I'm, I'm suggesting why not make it make it so you can switch between the characters. Oh, right, so you're playing along, right? Okay. Well, <laughs> well, then again, it'll just be well. You just turn it into a, basically a racing platform. Oh my god, there's already an idea there. <laughs> there you go. We've got a secret. Team Sonic Racing Two. The racing, you know, basically. Team Sonic Racing All Stars. You know, forget forget remaking Heroes. This is what you need to do, guys. <laughs> Sonic Heroes meets All Stars Racing. There you go. Yeah, Essentially, yeah. that's what it is because you, you only play the singular one, but you still can, you still have you control all three. You can swap between the characters and their abilities. You, this is just the abilities, really. Like, hey, this guy, it, my teammate's got a freaking boost whip. I need it to catch up. Okay, thank you. Well, that's the main thing about the game. Is obviously it's supposed to be it's bringing in the team element. As in, it's not just re- you running the race on your own. You have to help out your other colleague, whether it be AI driven or player driven. Yeah. It's going to be one hell of a fucking game online, though. Yeah, it will be one of those games that, to play a multiplayer, this is a game designed for multiplayer, obviously. This is like, move over Gran Turismo and Forza, this is the real deal. <laughs> Mind uh, you, we actually did not, did not know he's going to have a competitor this year, which we'll get to next time. Yeah, we'll get to that in a minute. Well, yeah, um, right now, I am looking forward to this game. I've looked yeah. forward to all the racing games. So the I was actually, I was going to say, I mean, the only thing that was slightly, I will say the build-up for the game, going back to when it was delayed, I mean, initially, is like when we thought it was going to come out in November, I would say there was not much of a build-up. I mean, there was the announcements, and then obviously the small bits of info about it. But I don't think many people were that excited. I won't. No, they weren't. It's like, it was just, it was just a thing. Hmm. Could it come, it could have come out, and it's like, hey, this game's out. Really? I didn't know. It could have it could have suffered the same fate as Mirror's Edge 2. Yeah, it would have been just one of the games that came out, but it was underwhelmed by some other bigger title. Yeah, I remember the same thing when Mad World came out and Bayonetta. There wasn't really much of a push for it. Mm. It was like, hey, you know, there's a violent game on the Wii. Yeah, we're trying to protest it. <laughs> <sighs> what about this one? I look, when I first record, for example, when I first saw Bayonetta and Mad World, I was like, I fucking want those games. <laughs> I didn't know what I wanted until I needed it, until I saw it. Yeah, exactly. And it's just seeing it. That's the problem. The, um, the only other thing I, I thought... I get, like I said, it's like, I think it's that, it's that much of a niche title. It's like you got two... Um, what's the word? Niches, too? I think it's niches. There's well, two, two, two general audiences you're, you're applying to here with that overlap. You got Sonic fans and you have racing fans. Sonic racing, aside from... The All Star series, which get around saying, even though it's titled Sonic and it yeah. gets around that by saying, "Hey, well, before, I mean, we kind of, out. I mean, for a while, we kind of viewed it as basically part of the Sega Superstar series. If we're going from like the I Toy game, tennis, and we just basically just was just the natural evolution of those ser- of that series. Even though Sega Superstar was a like Sonic team, I know. But in terms yeah. of like, it's part of that branding, and anyway. it's part of you know, it's Sonic and a bunch of other Sega characters you may know if you've seen them. The Star series, yeah. It's um, the only thing I was thinking of, because it's not involving any of the Sega characters, I thought that might be a bit of a drop for some people. Yeah, you're asking, you're asking another, another lap again. Yeah. You know, yeah, it's not the like Sonic Team who made the Riders series, which I still stand by the first game being best. But in terms of, like, it doesn't feature the other Sega characters, it doesn't have Scott of Arcadia, Fantasy Star, Burning Rangers, you know, all the other, like, back catalogs of games that, again, don't get used or aren't used yet until unless Sega... Apparently, they may be bringing it back soon. Who knows? Um, uh, so, again, I'm a bit worried about that. On mobile. Yeah. But again, that was the only thing I think that may have dropped people's interest in this a little bit is because it just solely focused on the Sonic characters. And let's be fair, there are a lot of people who don't give a shit about if they're not Sonic Tails or Knuckles, really, if we're honest. Yeah. Well, hopefully, lead up to May's release, which is only two months away. Yeah. Get some more hype going because right now you're looking at a very mediocre sales. Which, if the if IGN can actually pull the thumb out their asses and actually be unbiased against a Sonic title for once, <laughs> hey, maybe Fable or Ruse. Oh, this fight is because you, well, you it's don't say, Oh, it's a great race mechanic, it's a great graphics, it's got a fantastic soundtrack, but you know, it's Sonic, so you know what to expect. <laughs> expect well, what? Bad. You haven't really decided better. anything. If we've said anything about IGN, it's basically it's not Sonic games in general. It's just basically anybody who's interested in this thing, don't talk to them. They're weird. <laughs> That's their attitude. <laughs> yeah, but I can still kick your ass at Smash Bros. So what does that say? Uh, Without playing a Sonic, <laughs> I'm a cloud main. So watch your back. 